Did you hear about what happened yesterday? Details have surfaced about the top secret testing of the stealth nuclear bomber F-117 Nighthawk. This legendary aircraft has always been a hot topic, not just for its futuristic appearance, but also for its revolutionary stealth technology. And now it's grabbing attention for its upgraded capabilities, promising to redefine military aviation as we know it. Did you know the original F-117 was so secretive it didn't even show up on radar until its first mission in 1989? Imagine this, flying over Iraq, striking critical targets, and remaining completely undetectable. It was like a ghost in the sky, visible only when it was already too late. Now with cutting edge upgrades, this ghost has become even more formidable. As far as flying qualities, it's the, it's the best flying aircraft. The F-117 has now been equipped with modern weaponry, capable of impressing even the most powerful militaries in the world. It's armed with advanced AGM-158 JASM missiles, capable of striking targets up to 610 miles away while staying out of reach of enemy air defenses. Or take the GBU-39 SDB precision-guided bombs, designed to destroy bunkers and fortifications with astonishing accuracy. Just imagine the reaction of other nations when they learn about this. These upgrades make the F-117 so effective that even modern air defense systems like Russia's S-400 or China's HQ-9 appear powerless. Their capabilities simply aren't enough to detect a stealth aircraft outfitted with such cutting-edge systems. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a whole new level of warfare where the U.S. once again sets the pace for everyone else to follow. This updated ghost with its state-of-the-art armament has become a nightmare for any potential adversary. I tried to shape an airplane that was directly useful in specifically support of army troops in the field. Now let's get to the point. This is the world's first true stealth bomber. Its design was engineered to literally disappear from radar detection. Have you seen those sharp angles and flat surfaces? That's not just for aesthetics. It's a brilliant feat of engineering to minimize radar visibility. The F-117 is built with special materials and coatings that absorb radar waves, making it invisible. Imagine a massive bomber flying over enemy territory and it's completely undetectable. But the most impressive part? It's maneuverability and precision. The F-117 is equipped with smart bombs capable of hitting targets with an error margin of just a few inches. Honestly, its technology is ahead of its time. It's so advanced that even today's stealth aircraft have borrowed elements from its design. And here's the kicker. Yesterday, this ghost was tested with nuclear weaponry for the first time. The F-117 Nighthawk proved that it's not just a legend of the past, it's a cutting-edge technological powerhouse redefining modern aviation. To the wing design, to the flying wing design over a traditional uh, aircraft is this is the replacement of that fuselage with more wing. So that creates a bigger surface area of wing, which translates into more lift. The updated F-117 has retained its signature stealth technology. Its unique body geometry and radar-absorbing materials allow it to evade detection. But that's not all. Recent tests revealed how new advancements have elevated its performance to an entirely new level. Speed and maneuverability have become standout features that left experts impressed. The F-117's top speed reached approximately 617 miles per hour, which is remarkable for a stealth bomber. However, its real edge lies in its ability to perform precise maneuvers even under challenging conditions, giving it a clear advantage over adversaries. The aircraft has been equipped with the latest flight control systems incorporating artificial intelligence now it can independently analyze sensor data, select optimal routes, and even evade enemy missiles. This isn't just a machine, it's a smart fighter designed to minimize risks for its crew while maximizing operational effectiveness. The weaponry showcased during the test left everyone in awe. The F-117 can carry up to 4,400 pounds of payload, including precision-guided JDAM bombs that can hit targets within a three-foot radius, even in challenging weather conditions. Additionally, the aircraft demonstrated its capability to deploy AGM-158 JASA missiles, which use stealth technology to bypass even the most advanced enemy air defenses. And here's the headline. It was tested with a nuclear payload. While the test involved a simulation, the implications are clear. 
Nighthawk has once again proven it can carry out critical missions while remaining invisible and precise. During the trials, the F-117 showcased its ability to handle complex tasks, penetrating airspace protected by advanced air defense systems, and executing pinpoint strikes without detection. Its advanced technology and autonomy make it feel like a combat drone with the capabilities of a human pilot. Ours so much more capability. I've always thought aviation was something straight out of science fiction, but the F-117 proves that the future is already here. Modern warfare is increasingly dependent on technology. Whoever dominates the skies sets the rules. And here's the question. Why is the ability to remain invisible so important? The thing is, modern air defense systems like Russia's S-400 or S-500 are built around the principle of early target detection. But when an aircraft simply disappears from view, it changes the game entirely. It's kind of like chess. If you can't see your opponent's queen, how are you supposed to play? Here's another thing. The F-117 was tested under conditions as close to real combat as possible. Imagine a scenario where this bomber flies into a conflict zone, completes its mission, and returns, and no one even realizes it was there. These tests are more than just a trial run, they're a statement. A statement that the U.S. remains one step ahead. The F-117, despite being developed decades ago, proves that even older designs can be upgraded to stay relevant and effective. This forces others to rethink their military strategies. For instance, Russia and China are actively developing their own stealth aircraft, but they're still far from reaching this level of sophistication. And the most exciting part? This is just the beginning. Imagine a new generation of aircraft built on the foundation of F-117 technologies. Faster, stealthier, and deadlier. The future of aerial combat is being written right now. Of course, tests like these don't come without risks. People often worry that the development of such technologies could lead to escalation. Some might say, what if this sparks an arms race? But you know what reassures me? The fact that these technologies are designed for deterrence. Countries like the U.S. understand that their strength isn't just in delivering strikes, it's in their ability to prevent others from acting aggressively. The F-117 Nighthawk is more than just an aircraft, it's a symbol of how technology can change the rules of the game. Its return to action after so many years proves that classics always have a place in the future. And you know what's the coolest part? All these innovations, tests, and simulations are just the tip of the iceberg. I'm certain we'll hear more about this legendary aircraft and its successors. What do you think about it? Will new technologies be able to beat the time-tested talents of pilots? I'll tell you all about it today, but first, what do you think came first, drones or fighters? I know the question seems silly, but let's put it this way. If you answer incorrectly, you owe me a subscription and a like, okay? While drones were the first to appear, before the first fighter jet was built, engineers developed a miniature model of it that was launched manually, without a pilot. So it turns out that drones appeared earlier. While you subscribe to our channel, I'll start our story. Before we plunge into the air battles, let's recall how fighters and drones have evolved. These technological marvels have come a long and difficult way from wooden models to real instruments of the apocalypse and now they play a key role in military operations around the world. From the powerful speeds of fighter jets to the stealth and reconnaissance capabilities of drones, each of them has brought its own changes to the battlefield. Did you know that fighters such as the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II can not only attack, but also successfully defend airspace from enemy missiles? At the same time, drones such as the MQ-9 Reaper and RQ-4 Global Hawk have become indispensable in reconnaissance and surveillance of enemy territories. I've not told you about the X-47B drone yet, which can fold its wings and land on an aircraft carrier, becoming the first deck-mounted drone. Today, as it successfully launched an unmanned aircraft from the flight deck of the USS George H.W. Bush aircraft carrier for the first time in history. Even though drones used to lag far behind fighters in terms of their capabilities, they're now truly worthy rivals, each of which is able to compete for the championship in controlling the sky. But still, if a confrontation between a fighter jet and a drone occurs, 
it'll be appropriate to understand what the pros and cons are in combat situations. Fighter jets are real high-speed monsters with enormous firepower and maneuverability, which make them dangerous opponents in air battles. Their power is legendary. But why am I ranting? Just look at this. Not bad, isn't it? An excellent example of a modern fighter jet is the F-22 Raptor. If the enemy sees it in the sky, they'll rather run away than engage in combat. Why is this so? First, it's the speed, which in the latest version of the F-22 reaches 1,500 miles per hour. This is the best performance among American fighters, at least until the US launches the vaunted Dark Star, a video about which is also available on the channel. We were really building a fighter for the 21st century that could take on uh, all of the advanced threats. Another noteworthy fact is the maximum flight altitude. It reaches 65,600 feet above sea level, and not every airplane can fly at that altitude. Not even every air defense system reaches there with its missiles, let alone drones. Thus, the Raptor remains outside the range of the enemy in 90% of cases. The mentioned F-35 is also quite impressive. It may lose in speed, but it's clearly ahead of all modern fighters in maneuverability and striking power. It can be compared to a fly that flies back and forth. You can't really hit it. And it also attacks the enemy with hypersonic missiles. And it has a significant amount of weapons carrying and payload capability. What about drones? The best rivals for the fighters will probably be a pair of the MQ-9 Reaper and RQ-4 Global Hawk. The first one's a strike drone, and the only drone capable of attacking air targets. And the second one is a reconnaissance drone with radar capable of detecting not only a fighter jet, but even a mouse in the grass. But that's not all, and I have a few more secret drones in store for you, which I'll tell you about as soon as we start talking about the real battle. Speaking of which, if we're serious about the battle between fighters and drones, what do you think will win? Lightning fast aircraft with their firepower or cunning drones with their stealth and accuracy? Write your arguments in the comments while the fighters are flying out on a mission. Let's assume that our opponents face each other in a fair fight, without any other equipment such as air defense, radars, etc. The fighters were assigned the mission of flying to the enemy base and destroying it, while the drones were sent to intercept them. The F-22 and F-35 have a clear advantage in speed and altitude, so they'll try to get as high as possible and arrive as quickly as possible. But here's the rub. They've already been spotted in the sky by the Global Hawk, which can fly at an altitude of 12 miles. The radar of the fighter jets is too weak to detect it earlier, so it'll have time to reveal the location of the enemy. This is where the Reaper comes in. Several drones will fly to an altitude of 49,200 feet and attack with air-to-air -air missiles flying at 1,860 miles per hour and capable of shooting down fighters in a few seconds. The value that the MQ-9 provides is, is really unmatched with modern aircraft. This is where the maneuverability of the F-35 and its interceptor missiles come in. The first round of missiles will be easily repelled and the drones will reveal their position, after which the F-22s will be able to attack them one by one. The drones will lose some of their partners, but a second wave of missiles will fly, which will be harder to fight off. Nevertheless, there's hope that the fighters will be able to repel the attack. But what to do then? The Reaper has six hanging points and accordingly, six missiles. The best solution for the fighters is to move away from the enemy at full speed, having previously destroyed the Global Hawk, and then it will be easy for them to disperse the Reapers from a distance. That the Air Force wanted a stealthy, fighter. It was also clear that they wanted uh, an airplane that would super cruise, in other words, run supersonically without lighting off the afterburners. Actually, this decision will bring victory to the aircraft. But suddenly, from the thick of the clouds, an unidentified object crashes into the F-35 at a speed of 5,600 miles per hour, piercing it through. And the F-22 crashes after it. What was it? The latest U.S. drone is the Dart AE, capable of accelerating to Mach 7, but does not contain weapons. It can use the kinetic energy from the collision to tear the whole of the vehicle to pieces, sacrificing itself. Given the outcome of this battle, both sides have notable advantages and disadvantages, and both sides can win the confrontation if they use the right battle tactics. 
Of course, the latest Dart AE drones can indeed solve everything in a few seconds, but there are many conventions here. What if the same hyper-speedy and extremely maneuverable Dark Star joined the fighter team? It'll be able to defeat all of its unmanned colleagues simultaneously thanks to its ability to fire a dozen homing missiles, each of which selects a specific target. At the same time, drones don't even have a way to protect themselves. They cannot act as air defense, and any missile fired at them will be fatal. Similarly, fighters can suffer heavy losses, and this threatens economic failure because, for example, one Reaper costs $30 million and the F-22 costs $146 million. Drones can be very precise, very accurate. They can hit the target if you have the right information about that target. Anyway, the results of this air combat simulation could have a significant impact on the future of military technology. If the fighters win, it will emphasize the importance of high speed and firepower. Probably in this case, it would be appropriate to direct the forces to increase their maneuverability and armament as well as to strengthen radars and other equipment. On the other hand, if drones do win, they'll prove their superiority in the sky and the government will have no choice but to invest in this area. It'll also prove that stealth, accuracy, and autonomous operation are still more important than speed and firepower. In short, any result can be an important step towards improving both sides, both fighters and drones. Now let's summarize the advantages and disadvantages of fighter jets and drones. Oh, it's so much more capability. And the man is right because drones allow us to reach places where fighter jets cannot even fly. They complement each other perfectly. And in the future, both technologies will play an important role in military conflicts. Fighters will continue to provide the high speed and firepower required for air combat and attacks on ground targets. At the same time, drones will be used for reconnaissance and surveillance missions, as well as for attacks on targets in conditions where the risk to pilots needs to be minimized. In addition, the Dark Star already knows how to control drones, so in the near future, we'll see not confrontation, but joint work of the latest fighters and the most advanced drones. This tandem should be a decisive step towards resolving future possible conflicts. Now it's time for your opinion. Which technology do you think will dominate in the future, fighter jets or drones? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to watch our other videos on military technology to stay up to date. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more interesting insights into the world of air tactics.